Uh, two thirty, we got Syracuse traveling down to Florida State. Florida State somehow favored by five and a half points despite being zero and four on the year on the ACC network. Syracuse is uh, had a twenty nine nine win against Ohio to start the year. Uh, then they had the Heartbreakers seventeen seven against Rutgers, but they did end up bouncing back with a sixty two twenty four win against Albany, and they ended up getting a win that I did not expect them to last week with a twenty four twenty one win over. Uh, over Liberty, Liberty being a very good college football team, at least recently. Uh, Garrett Schrader was their starting quarterback. He is not passing for a lot of yards, but still ended up how, somehow winning this game. It was a lot through the ground. Ended up having, going 6-15, of 15, so it attempted only 15 passes, uh, through, only threw for 77 yards, but it did end up having two rushing touchdowns on the ground. Uh, Sean Tucker on the ground was their starting running back, who had the most productive day, had 32 carries for 169 yards and a touchdown. And Sean Tucker was also there leading through the air, although that wasn't that impressive. Again, only completed six passes, two of them, to Sean Tucker for 27 yards. Florida State, on the other hand, was a season that started out pretty strongly with a 41-38 loss against number 9 Notre Dame, but it was a close game that went to overtime, and honestly, it was a, it was Seminoles, it was very close to a Seminoles win. Then they end up having the Heartbreaker 2017 win, loss against Jacksonville State, a game they should have had if they called prevent defense on a Hail Mary pass instead of calling some weird cover two scheme. Then they had the next week at Wake Forest that was just a dominating win by Wake Forest in every possible way, 35-14 goes to Wake Forest. And then they had the eight-point game, 31-23 against Louisville. Honestly, three one-possession losses, and if I've, any of those go the different way, then this could be a 3-1 football team where we could be talking them in a whole different light. Um, but... On the other hand, Mackenzie Milton went 24-39 last week, threw for 248 yards and a touchdown and a pick. The fact is, um, it's just the offensive line for Florida State cannot hold up right now. Mackenzie Milton is in constant duress, and that's just not the way he should be playing quarterback. Deshaun Corbin had 11 carries for 159 yards and a touchdown, and Andrew Parchment had five catches for 86 yards and a touchdown. So Syracuse is 2-11 and all-time against Florida State. So Florida State has obviously dominated the series. Even the last game in 2019, these two teams played against each other, went to FSU. So, um, uh, I just, I'm, I really want to pick Florida State because <laughs> I really want my underrated thing to be right. Now, I understand they have to go 6-2 and two to hit that over and get that bowl game. Um, but I think this could be a place for the start. I don't have a huge amount of confidence in Syracuse, and if you can figure out how to shut down their ground game, they are a very easy team to beat. So give me... The Seminoles to win this one. Another favorite, but I'm, I'm really not confident picking it.